Hello. In this ALICE 3 tutorial, we're going to learn how to pass data from one method to another using parameters. I'm going to start by creating a local variable in my myFirst method. I'm going to make it a text string, I'm going to call it username, and I'm going to initialize it to Jane. Now I'm going to create a new method. I'm going to drop down here, I want to make it a scene method, and I want it to make it a procedure type method. I'm going to call it greet player. I don't have access to the variable from my first method in greet player because the variable username is a local variable. So I need to pass it to greet player by setting up a parameter. So I'm going to click add parameter and this is going to create a variable that's going to accept data every time it's called. So the data type I want is going to be a text string. I'm going to name the variable name and I'm going to hit OK. So now every time I call greet player, it's going to require I give it a text string that's going to go into the variable name. So let's call greet player from my first method. I'm going to go down to greet player. I'm going to put it there. Now it's asking me what data do I want to pass it. I could pass it a literal string by clicking custom text string, or in this case I'm going to pass it whatever value is in the variable username. Right now that value is Jane. Then I'm going to go back to greet player. Now, the data that's passed to it will be in the name variable. I'm going to go to the camel, and I'm going to have the camel say, I'm going to go to custom text string, I'm going to say greetings. Then I'm going to concatenate this with the parameter name. So I click name. So when I run the program, my first method is going to initialize username with the string literal Jane then it's going to pass the username variable, then it's going to pass the data in the username variable to greet player, that data will go into the name parameter, and a parameter is a type of variable, then the camel is going to say greetings, and it's going to concatenate whatever text string is in the variable name. So I hit run, and the camel says greetings Jane. I can have multiple parameters, so I'm going to add another parameter, I'm going to say add parameter, this one I want to be a whole number, and I'm going to say age. Now it's giving me this warning. That's because I already have a call for this method. So it's telling me that I'm going to have to update my call to make sure I pass a value that can go into the age parameter too. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go back to my first method. In this case, I'm not going to pass it the data inside a variable. I'm going to give it an actual value. So I'm going to drop down here. It's red because it's letting us know we need to pass some data there. I'm going to add a custom whole number, and I'm going to say 22. I'm going to say OK. So now I'm going to go back to greet player. Now I don't have to do anything with this if I don't want to, but in this case I do, so I'm going to concatenate again. I'm going to say greetings plus the variable name plus, I'm going to do another string literal. I'm going to say your age is, and I'm going to hit OK. And finally I'm going to do one more concatenation and I'm going to concatenate it with the whole number variable age. So now when I run it, the camel is going to say, greetings Jane, your age is 22. So parameters are very useful when we want to pass data from one method to another method. 